and I think it was, I don't know if you're going to ask this question, so I don't know if I should say it, but I'll just go with it. <laughs> and if I was, I just <laughs> would just move on. <laughs> okay. So um, the name of my cigar lounge and art gallery is called El Cuerpo Roto, The mm -hmm. Broken Body. And there's a reason for it. There's two reasons. One is because um, about three years ago, I had a really bad accident. I broke both of my legs. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to walk for months. And my husband brought me some sketchbooks and some acrylic pens. And he said, you know, I hate seeing you so depressed. I mean, I had gained 80 pounds. I was laying in bed. I, I needed him and my son just to help me use the restroom. I mean, it was humiliating. Right. It was painful. It was um, frustrating. It was probably the most broken I've ever been in addition to breaking my legs. And once you're broken, to your core is when you can come back up again. So from there, when my husband gave me that, I was like, I can't go anywhere but up from here. So let me just start trying. Let me just start painting. And the big um, biggie painting that you saw mm -hmm. downstairs, I was pretty much in a wheelchair painting that. Nothing is wow. massive. It's almost, you know, two feet by two feet. And I was like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to do it. It wasn't all right. And it wasn't, you know, proportions weren't right. And there were things that were off. But for me to accomplish that, I thought to myself, if I could accomplish that in a wheelchair, I can only imagine what can I accomplish with all of my capabilities. So yeah. I just started. And I love the color because the color made me happy. Yeah. Like I found myself wanting to keep pushing and wanting to do more. And color just, it's almost like the, the blood of life. Just all of these different colors for me are what became my signature piece and what became my my trade so right right that's and yes i was going to ask about that uh the name so yes. <laughs> so since you brought it up we'll we'll we can come back to the rest of them but we'll skip <laughs> to uh 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 the name yeah can you, can you say it again el cuerpo el, roto el cu el? right yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was I was trying to figure it out and practice it at home. I'm like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not. So so you can just say the broken body. The broken body. So that's what it means. That's or what that means. ECR. ECR. <laughs> so when you were deciding, uh so first of all, what was it that made you decide to open up ECR? Um so the art gallery has been something I've always wanted to do. Ever since I was a kid, I grew up in Los Angeles in a real poor area of Los Angeles in the hood, mm -hmm. the barrio, we call it. Um, my mom was a single mom raising four girls and all of the influences in my life were my mom, my dad, and all my art teachers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could name every art teacher from elementary, junior high to high school. Wow. And I always told myself that if I ever make it, I don't know if you call this making it, but <laughs> I, 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 would, I would call this making it. Yeah. I would call this making it. If I ever made it, I wanted to open up an art gallery and give back to the community mm -hmm. and um, showcase emerging artists that are students from specifically inner city schools. So mm -hmm. that was the main goal was to do that. And then my husband and I love smoking so much. We love cigars that I just thought, you know what, why not incorporate a culture that has so much um, artistic influences. I mean, you have Cuba, you have all of these, you know, the art of cigar making, you have all these beautiful, um, I don't know if they can see, but all these beautiful boxes here that people spend so much time putting their influence into. You have the labels, you know, a lot of these emerging cigar brands that really pour their heart into it. And that's an art also. So right. I wanted to balance it with emerging artists in the art world and emerging cigar brands in the cigar world. Okay, that's that's great, and and you've done that masterfully. When we when we walk through it, like I was telling you earlier, this the 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 forced flow, you know, is extremely extremely thought out and bringing you right up to the cigar lounge. It is is it's amazing. It's a great place. Thank it is you. an amazing place. Thank you. Um. So so, what made you call it? ECR. ECR. <laughs> now, right. El, El cuer Cuerpo Roto. Perfect. Close enough. A lot of it was my husband. Mm -hmm. I had wanted to call it something else. I was going to call it 2217 um, because that's just Liz upside down in numbers. And I was like, okay. And he's like, no. Nah. He's like, why don't you think deep? What really, what was it that, you know, 
that pivotal moment in your life. And that was when I broke my legs. And again, like I mentioned, breaking the legs, but being so broken, you dig, dig deep. And that's when you have probably your most best thoughts. And, you know, it helped to have drinks while I was doing it. So yeah. <laughs> stimulate that, you know, frontal lobes. But, but my husband and just thinking back when the most influential time in my art was, and it was in the last three years. That's, that's amazing. That's a great, that's a, it's great to have such a deep name and has so much meaning into it. Um, you know, and, and it just means so much more. It does. It means so much more. Not only to have art, your art, great art, to be reaching back and bringing up other artists who may not know how to, or how to get in the gallery, or where a gallery is. They just love to paint, you know, or love to draw. Um, doing all that, and then this amazing Cuba-esque <laughs> cigar lounge. Yeah. Um, 